Greetings from AntsCanada.com to wherever in the world you may be. First, please allow me to thank you for your time to watch and listen to what we have to show you in this video. My name is Mikey Bustos from Toronto, Canada, and I am the owner and founder of AntsCanada.com, a website for ant keeping hobbyists and the creator of this ant YouTube channel. Now you may have either stumbled upon this video accidentally and might like to consider having your child get into a new and unique hobby, or more likely, it's being shown to you by your son or daughter because they would like to gain permission to care for and keep a pet and colony at home. Now I receive email after email every day from kids from ages 7 all the way up to their teenage years asking me for help in convincing their parents to let them keep ants. So this video will be a brief breakdown on why you might like to permit your child to keep ants at home. I will also outline the basics of ant keeping, the duties required, the costs, concerns to look out for as a parent, and where the ant keeping hobby might lead your child in the future. So let's begin. This here is a formicarium. It's the technical term for what the world knows as an ant farm. It might look a little different from what you're used to because yes, it is a dirtless ant farm. You see, the classic upright dirt ant farms from the 50s are somewhat outdated these days and over the decades that ant keeping has been a thing, the technology and knowledge in ant keeping has truly improved so much that what you see here is what a cutting edge ant farm looks like in 2015. This formicarium is called an omni nest and it houses many, many ants. Now how does one obtain ants for their formicarium? Well first you require a queen ant. The queen ant is the large ant that you see here. She lays all the eggs in the colony and keeps the ant colony flourishing. The colony will continue to raise workers born from this one queen and they each die within a few months but the queen lives for up to 30 years, laying eggs and creating new workers. When she dies nobody is left to create workers so the colony fizzles out and dies worker by worker. Now to obtain a queen, she must be caught during a nuptial flight and chances are, if your child is showing you this video, he or she already knows how to catch a queen from watching our various YouTube ant tutorials on this channel. Queen ants fly and mate during the spring and summer months every year and once caught, they are housed in a test tube where the queen ants will lay eggs and eventually have some workers. These workers then proceed to take care of the queen as she continues to grow the colony bigger and bigger and lay more and more eggs. When the ant colony is composed of several members, the colony is then moved into their formicarium to live and continue growing. The ant colony eats very little at first, but once they are a big working ant colony, they will require a daily supply of sweet stuff, usually honey water, hummingbird nectar, or sugar water, as well as insects, usually crickets or mealworms. They also will require water provided to them in a test tube. Now how much space does an ant colony need? Usually just a portion of a tabletop or a desk space. This formicarium is an extra large and is the size of a large laptop. The formicarium must also be connected to what is called an outworld, which is basically an aquarium or container where the ants go to look for food. This outworld can have a cover or can be an open top with a deterrent like petroleum jelly or baby powder or a liquid called insecta slip ordered from bioquip.com to keep the ants from climbing out or escaping their outworld. Now the next question you might have, I'm sure, is how much is this going to cost? Well, if you would like to create your own formicarium, we have a helpful video with ideas on how you might be able to make your own formicarium if you or your child are the crafty type. Cost materials could range from $20 to $100 USD depending on what you use. Or if you would like to eliminate all guesswork, you can purchase any of our premium line of formicariums which are favored and used by ant keepers and museums around the world. Our omni nests range from 70 Canadian dollars to 200 Canadian dollars depending on the size, with express shipping ranging from 25 Canadian dollars if you live in North America to 50 dollars if you live outside of North America. The ants if caught from your area are free, of course. But for those who might have problems finding a queen and rearing an ant colony, we have several ant keepers in key cities around the world who are selling ants in their city. You can visit our website at antscanada.com and click under the Queen Ants for Sale tab to find out if we are selling ants in your city. Prices for ant colonies range from 15 US dollars 
to 200 US dollars depending on what the ant farmer prices his ants at. Now if your home is air conditioned during the summer months, ants require a heating source like a reptile heating cable which is usually available at most pet shops for 15 to 30 USD. You may also require an outworld which can be made from a critter crawler usually priced at $25. Magnifying glasses and tweezers are optional tools and cost about $1 to $2 each. All of these expenses thus far are one-time expenses. Food costs are usually minimal. You will need to provide honey water for the ant colony as well as crickets or mealworms which can be bought at most pet stores for $2 to $3 a batch which can last for a week or, if your colony is super big, can last a few days. Speaking of size, how big can a colony get, you ask? Most captive colonies don't grow as large as they do in the wild simply because it's hard to provide enough food and water needed for a colony to reach its maximum size. This means then that you can actually control the size of your ant colony by limiting its food intake. If you would like your colony to stay at a certain size, all you need to do is continue to feed them the same amount of food. If you would like your colony to grow into a massive colony like many ant keepers do, you simply have to provide more and more food as well as more space. Formicariums and outworlds can be connected together using tubing to form a network of ant space, which looks really cool. You might be asking, are the setups escape proof? If an ant setup is properly done, escapes are rare. Chances are, if your child has seen our videos, he or she knows how to properly secure an ant colony in their setup. Now things you should be aware of and look out for in the ant keeping hobby are as follows. There are some species of ants that sting. So if your child is young, you should probably supervise them if he or she decides to keep a stinging species. And if your child is known to be allergic to bee stings, keeping a stinging species of ants would definitely be a no-no. If you're unsure if the ants your child is wanting to keep is a dangerous stinging species, please feel free to email us at contact-us at antscanada.com with photos and we would be happy to help you out. The outworld of the ant colony needs to be cleaned every few days. The ants, like people, are clean and organized and they set up both graveyard sites and garbage disposal sites which the ant keeper must clean up at least once a week. As well, water and food should be provided daily or every few days, depending on the size of the colony. Now beware when shopping online for a formicarium. I highly suggest doing your research when purchasing formicariums from online. AntCanada.com, which is the oldest pro ant keeping website in North America, has been providing ant products and information to ant hobbyists for years, and we have established a good reputation for developing quality formicariums. Museums around the world use our formicariums, we ship our products regularly to ant hobbyists in over 30 countries, and we have been featured on both Animal Planet and Discovery Channel. If you order from us, I or any of my highly knowledgeable staff are available to you if you ever need help by way of our customer service email and I'm even available to Skype chat if you really need personal assistance. Also as a reputable company I will not name shady or bad ant shop websites to look out for but I highly recommend that you watch out for some of the homemade ant products available on some other websites as we deal with many dissatisfied hobbyists with complaints about homemade formicariums ranging from their ants dying in the formicariums, ants getting lost in unforeseen openings, and poor customer service and shipment. They may perhaps be cheap products, but my advice is if you are unsure, we highly suggest to try making your own formicarium or purchasing from us. We give full replacements or complete refunds for damaged or dysfunctional formicariums. We are completely risk-free and are devoted to making your ant keeping experience a memorable one. Oh, and be sure never to use those gel farms. All ant keepers know that they kill ant colonies. Now what are the advantages in keeping ants? One advantage in keeping ants includes teaching your child a sense of responsibility and routine required to care for living animals. Ants also give your child a good introduction to biology and systems, which can give them a broader understanding and admiration for nature. As a kid, I was absolutely fascinated by insects, and luckily my parents allowed me to keep ants, 
which eventually led me to enter the sciences in school, and soon as an adult, I was able to found the Ant Canada Ant Store, where we now work with members of the scientific community and ant research. Insights into society, systems, biology and insects, the environment, and many more fields can be acquired from simply owning and caring for ants. Keeping local ants also instills in your child a respect and admiration for ecology and habitat preservation, which is important for the future of mankind. Keeping ants also allows for great quality time and bonding with your child as you both engage on a learning experience together in something your child is passionate or interested in. We receive a ton of emails from parents raving about how much their child loves their formicarium and our ant videos, and for us, it makes us smile. We even have parents and kids selling ants to ant hobbyists in their city through our GAN project, making some extra cash through a hobby they both enjoy. Ants don't make any noise, they don't require a veterinarian, they generally take up as much space as a fish tank more or less, and are not super costly. You can also always release the ants back into the wild if ever you feel like you don't want to keep them anymore. Also, the ants hibernate every winter, so if you're from a place that experiences winter, all of those chores and maintenance required for your ant colony completely stop during the three months break, which frees you up to do other things. So this is a general breakdown of the basics of the ant keeping hobby, and if you would like to learn more about it, we do offer an ebook on our website called the Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook, with a lot more information on the ant keeping hobby. And we also have a full playlist here on our YouTube channel of ant tutorials which you and your child can watch together. Ants are a great way to keep your child stimulated, learning, applied, engaged, responsible, and just generally interested in a unique, educational, and positive activity. Thank you so much for watching this video and we hope you give your son or daughter a chance to keep pet ants. This is Ants Canada signing out. Bye-bye!